Yeah, we have one minute to start. Okay, I'm working on it right now. And let me get um, Zoom. Here we go. It looks like we are live. This is an exciting day because, oops, I can't hear anything. What's going on? <laughs> Uh-oh. What's going on here? Can you hear me? Say something, Michael. Hello. I can hear you. Something yes. happened. Okay. Um, okay. I wonder if Andre put. Here we go. So today we're going to talk about telemedicine, first alternative care. So fasten your seatbelt. It's we're going to learn and grow together. Michael, it's time to dance. First thing, almost five o'clock in the morning. Well, it's five o five for you, right? Right. Why don't you share it on your Facebook page? Right here and right here. I'm, I'm worried I'll, if I do that, you'll lose connection. <laughs> right do it on your phone. Right here, Lily, how do you think I've got connection? My phone doesn't have connection. <laughs> you're, 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 trying, you're playing with fire right now. I'll I'll share it. It. Here we go. The Lily and McDermott Show. Too funny. Out to Lillian, visit yeah. her on the web at whenyouneedafriend.com. Now let's all learn together. Here's Lillian McDermott. Hello, my listening friend. It's so nice we can meet each other on the air on this beautiful best day ever. And for those of you who have been listening to the show for, oh, hold on a second here. I need to mute myself here. There you go. For those of you who have been tuning in for the last seven years or yesterday, welcome back. And if this is the first time that you are stumbling on the show, you picked a good one because I've been waiting for you. Please know that this is a safe place you can go to when you need a friend. It is my commitment to provide alternative ways to heal. And it is my mission to make awareness, responsibility, and truth a part of our everyday life. And I hope you, my listening, as well as my viewing friends, will feel empowered to live the life of your dreams while you are learning a new truth. And so for those of you who are listening on the radio, you can also go onto your smartphones and listen to the on and off the air conversations on Facebook Live at Lillian's Radio Show. So that's Facebook Live at Lillian's Radio Show. Take me everywhere you go, even when you get out of your car. That's at Lillian's Radio Show. So today, I was really excited. I've, I've, I've done this show before where I've introduced you to telemedicine and first alternative care. And I am so excited, it's been about a month for me that I have been a member of first alternative care and I have had three experiences and they were so favorable, so favorable that I said, okay, Michael Legal, CEO of first alternative care, it's time to have this conversation again, just in case someone missed it along the way, it is time. It is time to take our health back. How do we do it? We take it by taking our money back, by taking our freedom to uh, of, of inform, freedom of information, learning what it is that is true and rings true for you. There's a lot of misunderstandings and a lot of misinformation, but when you take science-based evidence, data, when you take factual evidence from your own life, when you take comments that other people are doing, are saying, and when you take a relationship of like six years and you keep growing in that relationship, something really magical happens. You start cheering each other on, you start rooting for each other. And so that's what's happened with Michael Legal, CEO. I, I met his, I met him through my company, Lillian and McDermott and Associates. As you know, I've shared this before, I bring ancillary, safe ancillary services to doctors that they can bring to their practices so they can improve the care of their patients. And everywhere along the way, I look for holistic, natural. I look for different ways where you don't have to take a pill. You can take responsibility, which is the, the my registered service mark. And so today I want to revisit first alternative care, because this is a way 
that you can save time, save money, and make informed choices of how you're going to heal your body. And since it is my sole purpose in life to give and receive love and knowledge, I am so grateful that CEO of First Alternative Care is joining us again. Michael Legal, welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show. Thanks, Lily. Thanks for having me. You know, this has been such a relationship, you and I, uh, you introduced me to your mom and she and I have become friends and she was all about health and wellness and all natural, but you have taken this baton and you have taken it to the next level. Share a little bit about your background and what led you to this passion that you have for healing naturally. Sure. Um, I mean, I started, so for one, I, you know, six years ago, I wasn't in the medical industry uh, in case anybody doesn't know that, um, I was a uh, director of business development for a large printing company and I was traveling all over the country. And about, uh, I remember somewhere around June, early June, 2012, uh, I had gotten a random phone call, um, telling me that my dad was rushed to the hospital. Uh, it was upon when I actually got to the hospital, learned that he had had a reaction or an adverse reaction to a common drug that they would give. Uh, at that time, uh, and the side effect of another ad drug reaction ended up giving him what was called a, uh, was a stroke, and unfortunately he didn't make it. And so I just remember my whole world just being turned over by the understanding that we, you know, thinking that everybody's healthy and everybody's going to be there for you, and then all of a sudden realizing that a loved one that was irreplaceable in your life is now just gone uh, without any kind of, um, you know time to really cope or say goodbye. Yes. Um, it kind of just motivated me in learning and, and to learn more about what is actually, what actually happens with your healthcare, what, where, 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 where you stand right now, if something goes wrong and how is that going to be taken? You know, most people don't like to think of it because you don't prepare for the worst. Whereas this situation, I was firmly smacked in the face of what, um, what exactly was happening to in today's society. And, and we're going to continue our conversation with Michael Legal off the air at Lillian's radio show. But on the air, we're going to continue live at whenyouneedafriend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. So many places. I know. Good job, Michael. You noticed that because I'm trying to get on to my, uh, there we go. I am now going to share on my different groups that I belong to because this is such powerful information. Um, so, with your father totally pre preventable. Your father could possibly be alive today if they would have done a DNA check, if they would have done something that would have, um, they could have checked another drug. Share a little bit about that. So I learned, um, you know, I, at the time I didn't know anything. So it, it's hindsight, right? Yeah. But well, learning shortly afterwards, you know, exactly what about the drug, it, you know, what drug that they gave and the percentages of the reaction, it was a lot higher than you could imagine. Mm -hmm. In fact, one out of 30 would show if they were given that drug for the first time would have some sort of reaction, which I got from a Maryland study. Um, and at the time, this, this, there was a test that was available to anybody. Um, in fact, your general doctor could have prescribed it and insurance would have covered it, mm -hmm. but they don't really encourage these tests to be done because they're expensive and insurance won't, looks for specific reasons. Well, this is the perfect scenario of why you can't wait for those reasons. I mean, look, you, you're, not everybody's healthy. And when you get rushed to the hospital, you know, you need to know these, this information. It should be something that's just common and incentive. So they, they hide behind trying to show, Hey, uh, or, or they try to pit this confusing picture, but in the reality, if you, it's, it's pretty clear if anybody just looks through what, you know, their guidelines are and just see where their motivations are and it's just financial. So knowing that there's just this financial threshold that's placed on loved ones that you care about and the money that you already are paying into it is designed to pay for this. You know, yeah. we're talking about my dad was, was on Medicare at that time. And so when you get to that kind of care where you're, you want to make sure they're getting the best care, I was just totally just let down by the system. And then to know that I wasn't alone, that there were thousands and thousands and thousands of people that have gone through similar situations as myself. Um, yeah. yeah, but you know, you did the research and you were able to tie it in. How many people, how many more people die in hospitals, you know, taking from a side effect 
taking the drug the right way for the right reasons and all of that. But we think, well, it was their time to go. And it was totally preventable. Right no, that's you can text Lillian McDermott or leave her a voicemail at 407 373 5959. Once again, here's Lillian. Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, where we always learn and grow together. Today, the first part, we're going to be listening to or learning from uh, Mike Legal from First Alternative Care. For those of you who want to learn more about First Alternative Care, we still haven't even dipped our toe in there. Um, go to whenyouneedafriend.com. I have a page right there that you can go in and learn about it. Um, this is powerful information that's going to um, take you to that next level. And I, I don't know if I even said this in, at the beginning, at the intro, for those of you who are listening, if you knew that for $35 a month, you could have a doctor following you everywhere, you know, metaphorically following you around everywhere you go, and that is $35 a month per household. And the household can be a group of teenagers going to college or, or a, a college students or people that are living together because they're trying to share in a beautiful home and or a mother, a father, children uh, uh, with grandparents living there. That is considered a household. Right now, we have our beautiful grandson, Jacob Bennett, staying with us. And he's with us for a whole week. And so he is a part of my household right now. And so this is how freeing this is, where you don't even have to lie about your household. Whoever is in your household is in your household. And that's $35 a month. You can share that expense. And so what do you get for that? You get, like, if anything happens to you, and it's not urgent, where you are losing a limb or bleeding to death or whatever, you know, you can call um, you know, first alternative, you can just go to their portal and they'll, you can make an appointment at home where a doctor can respond to you within 15 to 30 minutes. That's what I've noticed is the time slot. And they can give you advice. If they believe that it's something you need to go to the emergency room, then you go. But if it's something that they can treat you, write a prescription right then and there, then you are golden. You have saved money on a copay. You have saved money uh, with your time. Uh, if you have a child that is sick and you need to know if that's something that's contagious or not, whatever it is, you can use not just your intuition, your intuition plus a doctor. And depending on your area, your area, you might have a nurse practitioner, depending on what telemedicine is designed to do at, in, in your area where you live, then that's who will call you back. And so brilliant, brilliant, brilliant that you've been able, Michael Legal, of First Alternative Care to do this for $35 a month per household. How have you been able to do this? Because you are working with other portals and you're cheaper than they are. How do you do this, Michael? Um, you know, it's almost like when you, when you look at how anybody gets the rates down on anything, right? It's volume and it has to do with, you know, distribution. And one of the things that we were able to accomplish over the six years is we were able to accomplish distribution throughout the United States, uh, with specific medical partners that will make sure that our product gets out there and make sure that people get informed. So when we were committing to building this, it wasn't taken lightly. We, we committed to building this out. And um, one of the things I wanted to make sure that this is a, a, a piece of what we're building. This isn't mm -hmm. the end of what we're doing. This is a yes. very important yes. piece because this was a piece that I was looking at was a really not um, taking advantage yet in today's society's um, technology and something that we want to get people more used to doing because we have to look at healthcare as we are writing a debt meaning every single year, I don't know if everybody realizes, we are going billions and billions of dollars more in debt just to medical. Yeah. And if somebody does not, and companies do not step up right now, we're continuing to write a check that there's just no ability to cash. Correct. So um, I'm just trying to basically stress that out there. And by going to the market the way we're going to at the market, um, look, we're not trying to get everybody, we're not trying to, you know, this is just a market share for people who want to go to. What we're trying to make is an alternative coverage care that will allow people to go both, you know, have the option to do both. If you want to go 
uh, to your local, you know, general practice doctor, and that's the way you want to do things, then you can use that doing our services as well. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you know, go to an acupuncturist or a chiropractic or use more of alternative means, then we're going to make sure that we build a center and a, and a program for you with this. So, um, you know, we're, every single year we've gotten started, we've made these big growths of where we're going to. Uh, this year, we're really focusing on being proactive and things that we're launching to help people, to give them the tools, as well as the price point that kind of no one can argue with on. Yes. And so with First Alternative, uh, um, First Alternative Care, prior to First Alternative Care, I was working with some of their products that are frequencies. Like I've used them since my accident. There's pulse electromagnetic frequency, microcurrent through Avasia. And so those are things that I've used. I've used explicitly for my body um, after I had the four herniated discs and spinal compression after the accident. And so that's what I've used for that. I haven't taken a pain pill, not even a Tylenol. And so I truly am a born again frequency believer. And uh, Michael and Brenda Legal have led this um, team of, of, of healers that are out there sharing this good news. Now, first alternative um, therapies is now First Alternative Cares has a different division. And so let's talk about First Alternative Care and what is telemedicine, what people should expect. And then I want to share my experience too. Sure. Um, well, First Alternative Care is for the person out there that when they're sick anyways, they realize they shouldn't be leaving bed. Uh, yeah. When they're on the road, they realize they don't really know where to go when they get sick. Um, when their family or loved one is suggesting to them that they might have a more important thing that they're worried about. Should mm -hmm. we go to the ER? Should we not go to the ER? It is all of the above built in one little convenient thing. The dermatology, and I don't want to stress this enough, the dermatology, we're getting such wonderful feedback of be, just people being proactive with their skin problems. You know, a lot of the times, if there's a price fixed on your healthcare, you, t you tend to be, you know, when it's everything else in life, you put that money down. But when it's you individually, sometimes you neglect that because you feel like you're, in, you're immortal, right? It's that, it's that, hey, everything's going to be okay. I don't need to go get this checked out. Yeah. But by taking that co but by taking that copay away and allowing people the ability to go, no, this is unlimited. You know, we're, we're, we're hoping that even you, you went this month three times, you know, we, yeah. we talk about like the ability to just be proactive with your health. And I want to give, I want to create a company that is just proactive with the way we look things so we can catch things beforehand. And that is really the main target here. We circle back to the goal. Let's save healthcare. Well, if we're going to do that, then everybody's got to get healthier because yes. If when you're not healthy, you're not doing us any favors. When you when you when you go into that cat law, big catastrophic care and you wait till it's too late, and then we get reactive and we're look we're panicking because every that's what happens. People get in flight or flight mode, uh, fight or flight mode. So with this, we're looking at a, blade, a a way to be proactive, but also just gentle. You know, we're not we're not going to be pushing you to do anything. We're just kind of saying, hey, we're here. Do you want, we're right here. Do you want to know about your foods? We're right here. Do you want to know about, you know, your history? We're right here. Do you want to know um, how you can just improve yourself every day just a little bit? We're here for you. Um, but there's the one thing that I like about this is everything that we're providing is expert knowledge. Everything we're providing is backed. Everything that we're, uh, we're doing right here is what, what we're supposed to be doing. Um, as we're supposed to be, what, what do we do in society as we advance technology? We're supposed to show that, right? Well, this is where we're at today. We're mm -hmm. at an ability where we can put a doctor in your pocket. We're at an ability where you shouldn't have to worry about certain things. You should get those answers right away. And the problem, and, and, and I love Google, but the problem with Google was that everybody became a Google doctor, right? <laughs> that's, that's all well and fair, except for when you're basing your life on it. And I think if you were going to look at this as a whole and say, hey, what do I want to base my future on it's the person that didn't know if they should go to the er or not and found out they had to go to the er because that doctor says no no no, don't waste another second get to the er mm -hmm. um or that you know and that's already happened we've gotten those reports or you're, you're you're stuck visiting family and your doctor's in a different state and they can't do anything for you and you need a refill on your kidney medication but it's two hours of traffic because you're living in a big city visiting somebody that's a Correct. real story you know like this design just to be proactive with and the feeling that you don't get that it's unlimited is really where I wanted to get where I felt like was the need for this. I um, think unlimited I mean, is what people don't get. Program. Yeah, Michael, I'm so sorry. I, I think unlimited is what people don't get. 
And uh, with the exception of three yearly visits or three hours a year for mental health Behavior. counseling. So mm -hmm. behavioral health counseling. Okay, so um, you can get family practice. You can also get dermatology. And then of course, three hours. And so how does this work? So th let me just share a little bit about my story. Michael, I don't know if I even told you this, but my husband's uh, company that he works for, um, for our Christmas party, um, they rented out um, all of Universal Studios. And for those of you who have a question, you can call 407-373-5959 uh, or text, or you can go on to at Lillian's radio show and you can ask your question on the comment section on the Facebook Live. So they rented out the whole entire Universal theme, theme park and just imagine 5,000 people and this huge universal. So we got to go to one, one ride to another, to another, to another in a very short period of time. The day after that, I was out taking advantage of Christmas and all the wonderful things, the buying and all that. And I kept seeing this white flash. And I kept seeing this white flash and this kept going on. I thought, well, maybe the sun is, well, the sun wasn't out. Maybe the light is hitting the glass. Well, maybe it was my phone that just went off. And I kept seeing this flash until finally I was at home and I, and I, I kept getting these flashes. And I looked at my husband, he said, you, you, should we go to the emergency room? Should we do, you know, what should we do? And, and so I decided, hey, let's use the telemed. Let's use first alternative care. Within 15 minutes, I had someone on the, air, uh, on the, on the other side of the phone and asked me what my symptoms was. I shared my symptoms and she said, I believe you have a detached retina or something wrong with your retina. This was a Saturday night. It was a midnight at the time. And they said, you know, you, if you want to, you can go to the emergency room, but you can wait till Monday to go to um, an ophthalmologist and have that checked out. Well, I did that. I did not go to the emergency room and because I didn't know if I was having a stroke. I'm, I'm too healthy to have a stroke, right? So um, I waited till Monday. I made an appointment and I had my eyes checked. And yes, I had a torn from. And so when I asked the, the ophthalmologist, uh, how did this happen? And he said, oh, you can get it from a bumpy ride. Do you know how many bumpy rides I went on at you know, Universal Studios? And so um, and that I've saved so much money not going to the ER, overreacting to a symptom. I had a doctor who felt very confident that that's what it was right away. So do you get comments like that all the time, Michael? Yeah, that's like the number one thing which I've heard so far was just not only how wonderful the staff individually was and knowledgeable was to make the person feel comfortable what they were stating, uh, but just about how where they what they would have spent Yes. You know, and it, it's it's easy to to explain to people that, hey, you know, you're going to you're going to need this because no matter who you are out there, you're going to get sick once in a while. And when you do get sick, think about what you go through once you get sick. What's that process look like? Yeah. Oh, I got to go to the ER. I got to go to emergency care. I got to go see my doc that we're best friends with. I've heard all the same things, but no matter what, <laughs> it's very convenient and very nice. Um, and I'll tell you what the staff does do also with that service. Like, for example, I, I was, I was uh, uh, at the end of a long trip. I started to get a swollen throat. Mm -hmm. And I'm in an area where you can't get service right now. I'm in the mountains in Seattle. And so uh, they couldn't actually connect us through there. So the service would call and actually got me to upload the picture of what's going on and was able to communicate everything with the doctor, even with limited service and where they couldn't even get a hold oh, yeah. of us I because they you. refused – to make sure that, hey, no matter what, we're going to get you what you need. Now, And they are absolutely phenomenal. I have been on the, the phone, uh, even on New Year's Eve, I was on the phone with them and they did a fabulous job. We're going to continue our conversation worldwide at whenyouneedafriend.com and at Lillian's Radio Show on Facebook Live. We'll be right here waiting for you. Okay. True story. Midnight. Yeah. Chris, uh, New Year's Eve, right like around 11 o'clock, uh, maybe around 10-ish. Uh, we were at dinner and... I had a bite on my neck, Michael. I was oh. thinking about you. Yeah, that's scary. That happened to you. And at, yeah. at, here I am, you know, dressed up. We're at this wonderful restaurant with our children in, in, in uh, South Carolina, Hilton Head Island. 
And my daughter goes, what's going on with your neck? <laughs> and uh, that night I called and a doctor came on. They prescribe an antibiotic. I told them that I didn't want to do antibiotics. And they said, you can do topical. And this is what they suggested, topical. And they, they had the prescription. They found a place that was open 24-7. But, you know, I chose not to go out that at that time because I felt that, you know, if it was topical, I can do vitamin C. And so, you know me, I'm going to go the natural route every single yeah. time. And I made it, I made an informed choice. Is this something that I want to go to the emergency room and do or not? And in these three times, think about it. Let's say most people have a $45 copay. I'm with, for, uh, I am with, um, Liberty Health Share. So once I meet my non-shared amount, aka deductible, I don't, you know, they pay for 100%. But you know, that's a thousand dollars out of pocket a year, and they pay for the rest. But if you think about it, I saved $135 if I would have had a $45 copay because each time it kept me from you know, spending time on the waiting room, you know, making an appointment with a doctor, when can I be seen, uh, you know, all those things, it's just saved us so much time. Yeah, I, I think the convenience and the time and where, and then where that price meets that perfect, like match, where you're like, look, I'd rather have that by, ha by my, have that as an arsenal, because if you ever go through one time where you, you know, you, you, you go through that experience where you get that huge ER bill, or you go through that experience. I mean, I remember going to the ER thinking uh, when I was like 17 or 18 or something, walking out with an $8,000 ER bill. And I'm yep. just wondering how the heck did that happen? And not knowing, you know, when you get in there, there there's tests that they literally have to run because you put them through that scenario. There's because of lawsuits and I don't want to be, you know, because there is lawsuits and, and because everybody has to have coverage and, and license and people, and there's those rare situations. Now there's all sorts of like, Hey, standard things. We have to do this. You, you yeah. complained of a headache. Now we got to do a CAT scan. You know, like, like those are the things that like people don't understand. So as a 17, 18 year old kid who doesn't even know what's going on and just thinks, I don't want anything wrong with me. Cause that's the fear, right? Don't yeah. jeopardize my life. I don't want to have something that hurts me in the future. This is just awesome because now you can just get a, a quality, quality advice before you go in that saves the big time. And there's that bottleneck, right? Like on your coverage, you just talked about a thousand dollars. Well, look, yeah. Um, not everybody's going to get to a thousand dollars in a year, right? You're going to get sick maybe twice. And if you, and just to have this as, Hey, a convenience factor, um, and hit that little small bottleneck. And by the way, that's just you. That doesn't even matter. The fact that this is for you, everybody that's in your household. Yeah. So that's also something cool. And I just see it as a, as a neat little gift, you know, like, you know, people are staying at the house. What are the amenities of the house? Well, I've got Netflix. I've got <laughs> Hulu, I've got, yeah, I got 24 hour medicine, got telemedicine. Espresso maker, and I've got first alternative care. If you need one, there's the hotline for the, there's the call number. If you need to go, I'll set you up. You can put yourself out of the right just in there. I just think that's so neat and where we need to be at. This is where the threshold needs to be at today in today's society. Everybody does need a doctor in their pocket and they need to be proactive with their health and they don't need to be thinking themselves and associating large, big costs associated with their health care. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things that happened just recently, Robert and I were having dinner. It was like after the holidays were over and we were sitting there and and he had been working a lot because he had this deadline that he had to meet. And we were sitting there having dinner. And all of a sudden I said, what's wrong with your elbow? And he had this big old ball in his elbow. And I said, call first alternative care. <laughs> and I took a picture of it. He uploaded it. And next thing you know, um, uh, the next thing, you know, we had a doctor calling him and I, I thought he had bursitis, but I'm not a doctor and I don't even play one on TV. So the doctor, when he called, he, he uh, said it was bursitis and he gave Robert some options to do medically and holistically, which was great. Right. I mean, isn't that cool? Like to be proactive, whereas most of the time he probably wouldn't even got any checks. Nine, five, five. Right. Here's Lillian. Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott radio show where we always learn from one another. You can hear us worldwide at when you need a friend.com. You can also listen at Lillian's radio show at Lillian's radio show on Facebook live. So today we are learning about how to take our health back. There's so many different ways. Of course, there's eating well, there's also um, spirit, mind, body work. There is so many different things that we can do to create the life that we want. And as you 
uh, make these informed choices. One of them uh, we're talking about today is first alternative care, where you have 24 seven, $35 a month, seven, you know, seven days a week, $35 a month per household, seven days a week, you have someone, it doesn't matter what time, and you, instead of going to the emergency room or you, instead of going to your family practitioner, now you can have someone there for you waiting for you, just like I'm waiting for you, except you don't call me at midnight unless it's an absolute emergency. With First Alternative Care, you can make an informed choice of what is going to be your next step. So that's what we're talking about, different ways that you can take your health back. And later on, in the broadcast, another way you can take your health back is my wonderful favorite sponsor, Liberty HealthShare. I'm a member not only of Liberty HealthShare, but of First Alternative Care. And so I want to encourage you to go to whenyouneedafriend.com and while you're there, become a subscriber. When you become a subscriber, the audio portion gets sent to you. You also receive some free gifts and you will be you'll be the first one to know who is on my show before anybody else is. And you'll have all links to all my guests when you are a subscriber. While you're at whenyouneedafriend.com, you can also check to uh, all my little buttons like my social media buttons, follow me, subscribe, like me, like me and subscribe on YouTube as well. And when you do that, the YouTube video will get sent to you if that's what you choose that you want and you can watch or listen at any time. This is what we call the power of information. And while this is more than a radio show, this is my classroom and I hope that you too will find it an informative classroom as well. So you can stay connected if you don't like iTunes and if you don't like, I mean, if you don't like uh, Facebook and you don't like going on to pod, you can go on to podcasts at iTunes, Google Play Music, iHeartRadio, uh, Spotify, Stitcher, tune in. I mean, there's so many different ways to be connected, but most importantly, you can um, connect with me on uh, 407-373-5959. You could call or text, and now you can make a comment on my Facebook Live. But the most important thing that I would like for you to do is when you're at whenyouneedafriend.com, check out my sponsors. Without my sponsors, this show or this classroom would not happen. So I want to encourage you to figure out ways to support our sponsors the way they're supporting the show. And so today we're talking about telemedicine. Telemedicine is a way that you can also empower yourself. I was just talking about how not only did I use it in the in the, th- the one month three times, but my husband also used it. And within a short period of time, it doesn't matter what time of day, it's 24 seven, you will have a doctor call you back. And it doesn't matter if you use it one time a month or a hundred times a month, you still have the one $35 a month fee. So I'm really excited about this because it saves you, it saved me $135 if I, which I don't, had a copay of $45 a month. And so that is why I'm saying take your health back. You go to whenyouneedafriend.com, click on to the telemedicine uh, or my first alternative care button, and it'll share with you what it is that you need to learn. Now, Michael Legal, thank you so much for for getting up so early today and sharing about this experience. Because as long as I've known you, this is probably the earliest I've seen your eyes open. Unless I never went to sleep in the first place. Yes. There you go. That's the other thing that you do as well. So I've known like full disclosure, I've known Michael for six years. We've worked together in many projects and I just absolutely love him and his family. And so um, you have joined forces with uh, MD Live and IQU in order for you to eventually have your platform. Share a little bit about why that is that you've done that. So um, look, whenever you build a company, um, it it comes down to finding out things that work and building those so it can work for a business, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, When we were building out the technology company, we found opportunities, things that we found that were kind of a great opportunity for us, so we would invest in those. The idea came, the ability that came for us to invest in the telemed platform uh, came to us and I saw an, an opportunity to create our own care. You know, this as a staple to start it off with, but also something that is very easy to get members on board with and a real need 
a real need that I personally went through and everybody else I was talking to felt like this was the future of it. Um, the, the software where it comes down to that was about how we can foresee us, you know, we want to follow up what we're saying. We want to be proactive with your health. So if we want to be proactive with your health, then we need to provide everybody with something simple that they can do that can always be approving by being a member of ours. So th these are things that we're doing that we found is like a licensing that we're building out with. So that way we're, we can even make your health improve on your convenience with health. Because I think that there's this work that people think that are required to be healthy. And some people do the work, some people don't. But I want to make it more convenient for you to do the work. And just the littlest things you can do, that, that, that's what we're trying to create. You know, we, when we did the gut check test, it was designed to figure out, people didn't know that what foods were in your diet were causing inflammation, even healthy foods, right? Yes. People didn't understand leaky gut. They, they didn't understand what that was about. But by getting that test done for them, I, they immediately I always saw some sort of culprit in there that was causing whatever condition they were complaining about. So I, we just saw this as an opportunity to, to build what we want to build, uh, which is an alternative care solution to today's you know, medical environment. And to be proactive and not capped because that's where the what first alternatives was surrounded by is, you know, the, the, the person's more important than anything else. You know, and, their and, experience is more important. Yeah. And you were saying that people often don't go to the doctor because they can't afford the copay, they can't afford insurance. And this is another option for them. Now the, you have 2.6 trillion factors in your algorithms as you've combined MD Live and Q, IQU, so that if I enter my information, it could help me prevent something in the future, like with your father who was given the wrong dose. So uh, mo most of those factors are genetic code. I don't want to make it sound like, you know, it's more there. The, your genetics is co incredibly complicated and there's a lot of diverse factors in there. What, what I like about our software, um, little things like it takes in what medication they're currently on, tells them exactly what that medication does. Most people don't even know that. Uh, gives them enough research to know about that medication, but also can suggest different supplements that would help them knowing that what medications they're on. I think that little factor right there is huge. Yes. Um, and so, go, go ahead. ahead. Go no, I, I really like the, that. I like the fact that um, it's taking every aspect of what it gives you is backed by clinical studies. So there's nothing in there. There's no guessing uh, when we're doing this. We're literally referencing, you know, over 40,000 integrated clinical studies with there. But let, let's remember what this is and what, what, our, what we're trying to do is it just allows us to be a little bit more proactive with what you're doing. You know, okay. you're, you're entering the information. Um, it can enter, it can integrate your blood tests and your blood reports uh, that you'd like to put in there. Those are going to make a factor in there. But if it, if you just had something that was just yours instead of Google, because we're going to get back to everybody wants to be a Google doctor, right? We've heard it all before. I think I have bipolar. No, you should not be di diagnosing bipolar from a Google doctor symptoms. Yes, mood swings. Like, you know, everybody gets a little mood swing sometimes. So just giving people a, a, more, a more factual platform and a support system. What I really like about what we built over the last six years is that, um, you know, people who were customers of ours, you know, from our technology side, we probably have over 100,000 people a day that get treated with that, right? And when you look at that power, the ability for them to call in no matter what situation they were going through and being guided through somebody, I love that, right? This is that next level for us. And so I just see it as, as, as a, a, a solid brick to the foundation we're building. And, uh, you know, as everybody knows who's ever built anything out there, you build your, your company around the brick solid and you're going to have a solid foundation in the future. And I feel Very like- good. And mm -hmm. speaking and speaking of a solid foundation and proactive when it comes to health, I want to bring Liberty Health Shares Dale Bellis back into the fold here. Thank you, Dale, for coming on the show today to tell us about another way that we can take our health back. Welcome. Thank you so very much, Lillian, and it's a pleasure to make Michael's acquaintance as well. Uh, I am fascinated uh, with the various options, choices, opportunities that people have to be proactive and be in charge of the care of their health. And those are the kinds of folks that are responsive to Liberty Health Share, and we're collecting that kind of proactive community across America. Uh, and so I, I really commend you, Michael, uh, for your hard work. Thank you.
You know, um, it, when you when you when I when I'm listening to Michael, and as I've become a member of First Alternative Care, and became a member of Liberty HealthShare, this is totally outside the box, Dale. When you decided to um, start Liberty HealthShare, did people say you were crazy too? <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> without without a doubt, uh, and it's just indicative of the fact. There is an ideological divide in America about the care of our health, as opposed to simply being passive and allowing others to make choices and decisions for us, or exerting our God-given right Amen. to manage direct control our own health. And that's the distinction. Amen. And for those of you who want to learn more about Liberty HealthShare, you can go to libertyhealthshare.org. And we're going to continue our conversations on and off the air at Lillian's Radio Show, Facebook Live, and when you need a friend.com. We'll be right here waiting for you. Oh, sorry about that. I was just trying to get everybody. Isn't it amazing, uh, Dale? Thank you so much for being on. We're on uh, Facebook Live. For those of you who have any questions, let us know where you're from, where you're listening from. Have you used uh, First Alternative Care? Are you using Liberty HealthShare? You can go to libertyhealthshare.org to learn how to make an informed choice. And that's what I was talking to, to um, before you came on, Dale, I've experienced three different times that not only did I save money, um, uh, but time as well by using first alternative care. And uh, I don't know if in 2019, I will meet my unshared amount because <laughs> I am really using the, the power of this unlimited telemedicine so that I don't even have to go to the doctor uh, unless I have a physical or whatever it is that I need to do. Uh, do, do you ever find that, uh, that people are, don't meet their uh, non-shared amount with Liberty Health Share or do a lot well, of people we do? do? Absolutely. And, and it just, again, is testimony uh, to the fact that uh, we are gathering together a community of people across America who want to step up and be in charge of the care of their health. Uh, and, and that's really the distinction. Mm -hmm. uh, sadly, there is, an, uh, a, there is a structural issue in, America health, in America's healthcare. When I send my money away to a third party payer mm -hmm. uh, and they suddenly, that's their money and they're making choices about my health, not only do I lose autonomy, but I lose control of the entire discussion regarding my health and its health and the care of that body that God's given me. Yeah, that's, that's just a fundamental uh, structural flaw uh, that we've got to seize control of both our money that we're spending for uh, health care uh, and making choices uh, for ourselves. Yeah. And so when, when you're, when you're saying all of that, there's so many factors that insurance doesn't even take into, a, a, our pharmacist doesn't take into effect. Uh, the different doctors that aren't communicating with one another. What I love about this portal is that all your information's in there from your blood work to your DNA to your, and what um, Michael and the group First Alternative is doing is that they are making a portal where you can enter all that information plus you can um well michael you can you can probably say it better than than i can with yeah, the gut I mean, check and all the other know, stuff our, ancillary our, our, our goal is so for the people like you know you, know, you talk about that community that looks at their health and they want to take make sure they're healthy in the future because they want to be there for their grandkids and they want to be there for you know those future moments that when you're healthier and if you look at right now how, you know, I'm going to say just normal, your normal process would go. And how they're that Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Okay. You know, you do have the health track. You can text Michael. Lee McDermott. Or Michael, Lee you have the health track as well oh, as Liberty Health Share. Let's five have nine, five nine. Once again, yeah. here's Lillian. Welcome back to the Lillian McDermott Radio Show, where we learn from one another. Today's teacher, I'm surrounded by beautiful men. 
I have uh, Michael Legal from First Alternative Care. We've been talking about telemedicine and how to take your life back by making informed choices of when you're going to go see your doctor or when you're going to stay home, or whatever it is that you need to make. And, uh, and then also Liberty HealthShare. Love, love, love Liberty HealthShare. I have been with Liberty HealthShare going on my third year. I walked away from insurance because I want to make informed choices for myself. And I can use my alternative, integrative, holistic doctors with first alternative care. It's, I, would, I, I would call it my health care assurance. And so we're talking with Del Billis, who's the chairman and founder of Liberty HealthShare. And I am so thrilled every time he comes on because he has something new to tell us. And today we're talking about taking our health back in different ways. And so uh, for those of you who want to learn more about Liberty HealthShare, you can go to uh, libertyhealthshare.org. Org, or you can go to 855-58-LIBERTY. And another way of saying that is 855-585-4237. Now, Dale, as you were, you know, creating Liberty HealthShare, did you think someone else would come along and say, hey, we can even make health share, healthcare even less expensive? Did you, did you ever think that telemedicine would be something that we could use to help ourselves? Well, this is, without a doubt, one of the baseline innovations in American healthcare uh, that really puts the control back into the hands of the individual patient. Uh, my, in my humble estimation, that's the only way in which we're going to change or transform America's healthcare. If the end user, the customer, is in charge of the care of their health. Think about it for a moment. There's no other aspect of our economic lives uh, where that's not the case. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he, in the arena of healthcare, telemedicine is that first line in, in our estimation at Liberty HealthShare uh, of really enabling, empowering, uh, equipping the individual to be in charge of those questions, those issues relative to their health. It's the convenience of a phone call, a video chat, uh, and in fact, and Michael might be able to tell us uh, what average percentage of healthcare interventions uh, are cared for in that first line uh, of telemedicine. Uh, but uh, we, heart in, we wholeheartedly uh, endorse that innovation uh, because it's empowering, but it lowers costs and gives choice to the individual customer. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, there was a study, and maybe you'd like to add to this, either Michael or, or Dale. There was a study that most people don't go to the doctor because they can't even afford it. And so this Affordable Care Act has been very expensive, and insurance is very expensive. Going to the doctor, the copay alone could be the choice of a meal. And so we were talking about $35 a month per household helps them prevent all these unnecessary visits and wait and time that it takes to go to the doctor. So what can you say about that? You know, people not going to, to get the care that they need because they can't even afford it. I, I'm, I'm gonna say two things, just respond to what Dale is saying. Uh, it's about 80% of all things that you would go to the emergency room or general doctor to, we can just take care of telemedicine right now. Um, the other side about this is even if there was a, a, you know, the percentage I got from you was based on a study from Alabama, but let's say um, you had a $20 copay, okay? Then it, there's legitimately people who value that $20 more than just being proactive with their health. So they won't go into the emergency room. It gets down to um, where it's like 17% difference between if you had a $20 or $0 of the people that would elect to go into the healthcare. Those 17 out of 100 people are still sick and going into the office and getting other people sick. There's no difference of what we're talking about. It's just a difference of how we, we perceive the healthcare or how we get treated for it, right? So what I like about this, and I was telling, you know, you tell a lot of employees about this, is when they have something like this as a combination and they do need a good plan. They do need, a, you know, a, a shared program like Liberty. They do need something like that for your catastrophic and for what you're gonna do and react it. But when you look at where it, this can help you out with is, hey, look, I was sick. It was 10 at night. There's no way I can get to the ER. It's, it's cold outside. It's miserable. I'm not going to go. I'm just going to tough it out. And when you start making sacrifices on your own health based on cost, then I believe that you suffer. And I think that the trick to do this the right way, and, and I believe, Dale, you saw this 
as a visionary back in the, when you started this and founded this and people were telling you things just like I got told, you know, most people are trying to find the flaws within my system rather than just embracing what we have, right? They're trying to figure out, well, how can you do this? How can you be in business? How can you? And it's like, don't worry about it. Just enjoy what we have and, you know, be proactive with your health. Good luck. And, you know, that's the thing about society is we, we, rather than just, you know, looking at things and saying, hey, you know what, I need to step up. We're always trying to find an excuse to be healthier. It's, it's the craziest concept. So let's let Dale address that question. You know, people who sacrifice their health because they can't afford it and Liberty HealthShare is so affordable. And the same thing people are asking you, Dale, how do you guys make it so affordable? Well, because it's our money at stake. <laughs> yeah. that's the game changer <laughs> instead of sending our money away to a third party payer where it suddenly uh, fills their coffers and they're making choices and decisions uh, about our health it's my pocket and the pockets of my fellow members at stake uh, and that changes the entire consumption mentality so when i'm standing at the counter uh, making choices about the care of my health with the doctor or I'm looking for a methodology or a means for reducing expense, I'm doing that because it's my money at stake. I got yeah. skin in the game. Uh, that right. changes the mentality. Uh, and so our members uh, with Liberty Health Sh Share uh, engage in cost-saving alternatives uh, that minimize expense uh, and contain those costs because it's our dollars uh, that's really uh, at stake here. And, and we've got skin in the game. That's the difference. You know, I've been asked this question. Maybe you can answer it better than anybody. You know, people have said to me, well, what's the difference? You know, either Liberty HealthShare or an insurance company. And so, you know, how are they still saving money? What do you say to that? Well, it, it is uh, evident that in our current uh, structure, infrastructure regarding health care, that the third party pay system is failing. Uh, it, the costs are rising astronomically. And so the, the questions be, begin to be asked, how do we truly control and can curtail expense and cost? If we put decisions in the hands of the individual customer so that they're in charge of their health, uh, the entire uh, methodology changes. Uh, and so we've seen it, costs come down. Uh, we're sharing healthcare expense at half the cost of mm -hmm. conventional health care. And it's because it's our dollar. I would say 75% off. Because when I went to the emergency room and I saw the bill that I got, and then yeah. once Liberty HealthShare got involved, it went down 75%. Yeah, we see that across the board. It's just indicative <laughs> of the fact that there is a medical pricing, medical billing uh, uh, crisis, frankly, in America. Uh, and that's our average. Our average is we... Uh, our members pay each other's bills at 40% of what actually is billed. So 60% uh, is reduced uh, because of, uh, of the fact that our payments are prompt and reasonable uh, and fair uh, and, and providers accept it for that reason. That's right. And they pro and and with Liberty Health Share, I'm not limited to where I go. Like usually when you belong to a group, you have to go to their doctors, but with Liberty Health Share, sky's the limit. You know, I just love, love, love any, Liberty Health Any Healthshare. willing doctor and hospital will do. Any, that's right. Any willing doctor and hospital will do. And when I have a doctor who is not a provider of Liberty Health Share, I give them the number of a lot of confidence. I say they're going to pay you more than you're going to pay with. The, they're going to pay your insurance is going to pay you. So I would encourage you to call them and. A hundred percent. They come back and say, we'll accept Liberty Health Share. So well done, Dale Billis. Well done. Did you, did you notice first, the very important thing he said there, Lily, was yeah. that they pay. They pay. They pay. Their <laughs> <laughs> and that was the number one thing that he slipped in there. That you, Okay. Okay. Well, for, for those of you, go to whenyouneedafriend.com. We're going to continue our conversation off the air at Lillian's radio show. But for now, Liberty Health Share uh, libertyhealthshare.org or First Alternative Care, you can go to whenyouneedafriend.com and just click on but both buttons and it'll take you there. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Dale, for being- What a pleasure. A Michael, and, and thank Michael. you so much. God yes. bless. Hey, pleasure and, meeting you. And 
And please remember, we'll be right here waiting for you. This is Lillian McDermott wishing you love, peace, joy, and unexpected abundance. Make it the best, the best day, day ever. ever. <laughs> Yay, I love it. You know, uh, for, for those of you who don't know this, but Dale used to come at the beginning of my show until he found out that we do the best day ever, right, Dale? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, I don't want to be at the beginning. No, um, no. Yes, I don't want to be at the beginning. But I'm so glad. You know, I, I, you know, I've introduced you, um, Dale, to a lot of the guests that have been on the show, and I was thrilled that by accident we had the two of you. Because I have, you know, Ashley does all the, you know, the the whole the scheduling. And when I looked, I thought, okay, the title of the show is Take Your Health Back. Uh, Informed Choice. It's all hey, about, would man. you like to share one more thing about Informed Choice, Dale, before you go? Because I know you always have other things that you need to do. Well, it, it really comes down to this ideological divide that I referred to uh, uh, earlier. Uh, is that we are in a generational uh, and I think cultural uh, decision and moment. Mm -hmm. uh, because on one side are those who say, let us take care of you. <laughs> on the other side are those who say, no, I have a God-given responsibility, a uh, moral and ethical uh, choice in terms of the care of this body that God's given me. Mm -hmm. uh, and and that, that decision that we'll see uh, where it goes a generation from now, uh, but we're in the throes of those uh, of that discussion, uh, and I'm opting, and so is Liberty HealthShare, uh, to, to give control, power, uh, and decision uh, in the hands of the, in, uh, of the person most responsible for the care of their body, uh, yeah. and that's, that's the customer. Yeah, and unfortunately, and unfortunately, with the statistic that Michael had shared with me, gosh, about a month or so ago, you know, most people don't take control of their health because, you know, buying a $1,000 iPhone is more important. Mm. And so with that in mind, we want to make this so affordable and have a place where all your information is stored so that there aren't all these um, accidental deaths from drugs being prescribed the right way, overdoses. Let me, I, one thing that I learned from my DNA is that any doctor who gives me codeine, mm. codeine converts into morphine into my body. Mm. So if I take a lot of codeine, which most people take Tylenol with codeine, like it's like a, like a shot of vodka. Um, if, if I were to do something like that, that would translate into morphine and it could kill me and slow down my breathing and it could kill me. Well, the awareness that you're bringing Lillian and as well, you, Michael, all I can say is, uh, may your tribe increase. God <laughs> bless you. Uh, keep it uh, going uh, because you're helping to change minds and hearts in America. So thank you. thank you for what you do. Thank you. And for those of you who are watching Liberty HealthShare, go on there. That's libertyhealthshare.org. That's 855-58-LIBERTY. 855-585-4237. And Dale always has an interview at nine o'clock. So he has, uh, he's left, but we're going to continue with Michael. You can hear the blowers in the background. For those of you who are just tuning in, or have you been watching the broadcast? I would love to hear what you have to say, but we're talking with, we just got off the, uh, the, the, the show with uh, Del Villas, Liberty Health Share and Liberty Health Share is where I, I have walked away from insurance three years ago. And it was scary, Michael. It was scary for me to make that decision. But when I joined Liberty HealthShare and I knew that I could go see um, allopathic as well as holistic alternative for, you know, like I'm gonna go see a chiropractor, an upper cervical chiropractor who's not even considered, you know, like, if even chiropractors look at upper cervical going, hey, that's not so, so uh, it's frowned upon. And, but that's what I do. I, I, I look at what's best for my health. I make that a choice and I follow through. Liberty HealthShare will pay for that. And so, and, and they pay better than Medicare would pay or any insurance would pay. And like you said earlier, they pay and that's crucial. So with that in mind, um, I, I wanted to see if you wanted to do a little presentation on some of the different benefits that you have 
for $35 a month, unlimited family practice, unlimited dermatology. Uh, that's 24 seven uh, and then three hours a year of mental health or, or uh, mental health counseling. You can uh, take advantage of that per household. Share a little bit about the portal and how it comes together. Uh, sure. Again, the the there's two sides to this. Um, the uh, the third the main thing that you're getting with the thirty five dollars a month is you're getting access to our telemed platform, which would allow you to get, as you said, unlimited dermatology. Uh, Lily, uh, if you want to give me the ability to share. Yes, you have it. I, I gave I made you a co-host. You can see this right here. There so there. I'm currently in Washington. So you can see that um, it takes in where you're currently at, lets you know. Uh, when you continue on here, it's really nice. It just tells you where your per visits are. You know, I haven't hit those three per the household yet for the counseling. So you can use the therapy counseling in there, or you can do your medical visit or your dermatology visit. Also, what I like about this is once you're set up on here, you're able to add dependents really easily. So you can, um, when someone's coming in, hold on, I got to re-log in because it's been docile for a little bit. When someone's coming in um, and they stay, they're, they're staying with you and they're going to live, for you for the year you don't it doesn't take you forever to add the dependent you can just add that dependent yeah. right in there without having to go through anything else besides going through that so it does make you like a little mini hero yeah um, and our grandson is visiting us and um and he you know he's been coughing up he's been coughing up phlegm so i'm gonna call the doctor and i'm gonna say you know give him his symptoms I'm, and he's part of my household now because he's here and mm -hmm. instead of giving them un unlimited Netflix, I can give them an a, unlimited uh, health care by doctor, not a Google search or not a friend who says, oh, this is OK, or no rush to the emergency room. Go ahead and show us what you see. So right now, you know, it's 6.06 .06 my time, your time. It's, it's about 9.06 or uh, sorry, it's uh, what is it? 9.06 your time. So you can see Eastern Standard Time, if I was going to book one from right where I'm at, I can get a doctor within uh, 20 minutes, as you can see right there, uh, ready to available 930 Eastern Standard Time, ready to go. I can see their available times as I click on here. And the, one of the cool things about it, and even where I'm at, so I'm at a place right now where I'm in the mountains in Seattle, and the connection is not great. And even when it's on there, it, it, it is back and forth. Uh, as I was going through a doctor visit, the, the phone number that they have a customer service agent call you, even yeah, when you have yeah. difficulty and they walk you through the communication. Hey, send us an upload a picture so we can get you a proper diagnosis. So it's not just, hey, you know what, when people have to worry about, well, what if I don't want to use the video? If I don't want to do the phone, just a phone call, having that personal phone call liaison to be able to set that up is really nice for you as well. Yeah. So, uh, you know, again, the ability to set up the doctor right away, the ability to go through that process. Um, letting you know where you're at to available in Spanish as well. The whole thing you can set up in Spanish if you want to, uh, in case you're worried about that. And there is different languages that the different doctors speak. So if you're in a specific language and you're underneath the program and you can only speak that language, you can request that through the audio and it'll work for you getting that as well. So also what I want to show you then is the, what we're building for the dashboard. And when, when you understand like what we're really trying to build out is an entire customer experience where we, you know, you can have that physical location you can go into with us, but as well as having something that connects you all the time. And like when we talk about being proactive with your health, um, that's what it's all about. It's about taking, taking the advantage of realizing that, look, you're not immortal. None of us are. We all have to deal with that. And we all have to make sure that we are doing whatever it takes to be able to be a little bit healthier. Yes. And so what this is, what I like with this is, look, Genetics is a big thing for people right now. Everybody's talking about, you know, doing your doing a DNA test to find out where your history is. I from. think every child should have their DNA checked. Exactly. And every one day child. And it's not that expensive. No, it's not. And we're that's what we're working about getting the cost down to like what what does a health panel look like or what is having all that information look like? Right now we're getting that where you know you can probably get all your lab done, your genetic, your gut check test, and all your panels you need to give you a really good diagnosis. We're trying to get that underneath a thousand dollars right now. We're working on getting that retail cost down. So mm -hmm. this is cool because you could already take your 23 me test and load it, or we're going to have our own little version of it as well. You oh, can you take are? all your lab reports. And once you get your lab reports, your blood panels or whatever, if you're a guy, here's your men's, you know, wellness things, you can integrate all these panels 
uh, you know, your CBC panels if you want to as well. Um, what I like is there is it, it factors in, you know, 2000 different questions that it has to go through that are not, you don't go through 2000 questions. They get cycled through based on what you're answering as you're going through. Mm -hmm. um, I love the medication side of this, as I told you, to being able to, to you know, all the different drugs that are approved right now uh, that are on there, you can, you know, put in uh, that, 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 that drug. And you can say, Hey, look, whatever ones you want to show what you're on and you can see, you know, what's going on with there, what, what that drug is and what it does. And maybe most people just aren't aware of a lot of the side effects. I think that is the number one thing, you know, as I, I became more aware of is just, you know, if you were, and I'm going to give you this reference, if you were in a bus and you were driving off a cliff, you would go and take the wheel. You wouldn't just continue to go off the cliff. And so I feel like a lot of our medical care right now is, is, is designed to give you a pill and move on. And when you've got to look into more factors, because a pill is not going to be able to prolong, you know, change every aspect. If people are just become more aware of their health factors and just give them little, little things they can work on. So as you see, you know, what we really like about that is everything that I'm going to go to the dashboard here and show you, you know, it's consistently looking at different ways to give you, um, little recommendations that can improve your health. And mm -hmm. a lot of it seems like common sense to some people, but then the, some of it, some of it's going to be different. You know, it, it's, it's all based on, um, uh, you know, whatever's you, what's going on with you personally. So mm -hmm. giving somebody a personal dashboard for their health, allowing them to be their own champion, and then also building out the ability to give, you know, the access to different technologies and things that people really don't understand, like what we're doing right now at First Alternative Therapies is ridiculous. Like things that are bothering people, things that they have no other chances. Like if they're out there and like, hey, I, I couldn't find anybody that could help me with this. We're doing a lot of things that I did like on, on a consistent basis. That was always my dream is just to be there for a source to help people. And yeah. though the, that, that, that has always been something that I'm really uh, passionate about, you know, is giving somebody an option for safety and everything that's on the first alternative therapy side has been it is is not only safe there's never been an a, a, you know a reported event based on what we're doing and that's the safety measure that we should have on all other angles of medical whereas right now you can't find me a lot of medication that they don't have some sort of reported event uh, on a group handful of people and there's i love and i love how you bring in the science to say okay this is where this information is from uh, whether it's pubmed.gov or uh, this is an article that was written, you're able to um, identify it for the people that are that are um, in line with um, or, or members of uh, First Alternative Care. Now, Michael, I have a real quick question. Last time you yeah. were on, you were saying that if they wanted to add this portion of the portal, it was going to be an extra cost. Are we still doing that? Yeah, it looks like we're going to end up having we're going to we're we're looking to have this completely done by the uh 21st of February. Okay, uh, cuz I I haven't joined I haven't added my information yet. So the people that are members now and the people that sign up now on the Lily McDermott radio show you can go to when you need a friend.com and click onto the first alternative icon, first alternative care and it looks like that. It's a it's a little uh, green and blue uh, family with a cross so behind it the medical cross. Um, and when you sign in um, it's uh, $35 a month unlimited and you can look at all the information that's there. Um, but if you want to add this section um, it's your for a whole month, they can get it for free once it's um, up and running. We're, we're working on that right now. I don't want to get, I don't want to quote anything that we're going to make there. Okay. Look, I'm working, okay. I'm trying to get this where I give it away for free. That's yes. my goal. Yeah. You know, and so in order for me to do that, I've got to get, it's, it's everything's with volume. Yeah. And so as we're trying to do that, we're trying to uh, incorporate a lot of different possibilities right now. And it is possible that we're offering this as just a free added bonus to our dashboard. That's where we're going with it. The most it will cost is $10 a household. Um, and, and so we're somewhere in between that and trying to fix a how- Hey, listen, it's still less than a copay. It's still less it's, than a copay. No, it, it, it's affordable. Uh, no matter who's telling me, everybody, it's affordable by itself. I think the big thing that would, what, you, what, what people are trying to understand is I'm also trying to- uh, take this to the next level besides just being there virtually we're trying to build out the physical clinics that we can kind of help as well with this so there's a there's a plan and, and, and it's all coming together and every year we're going to make strides to get that and the goal is just to make sure we give you guys the best possible presentable alternative care in the market mm -hmm. and so 
this right here, this should be, I want this to be available. I don't want to be, I don't want to have to charge for it. It's about making it available and taking on those costs. And that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. So like little things that you can see right here, it's like, even if it gives you little top recommendations and yeah, okay, eat more vegetables. Yeah, that could be for everybody, but for specifically for whatever reason, it tells you exactly why and gives you the references. So if you are the person, uh, you know, Lily, you are one of those individuals in life that always loves to uh, just throw a little question to everything. You know what I'm saying? There's no, nothing wrong with questioning what's in front of you. You know, mm -hmm. this, this has the ability to, I, I call it the, uh, yeah, man, see how deep the rabbit hole goes and the rabbit yeah. hole goes. It's called the the lily the the lily um, um, portal. Yeah, no, I mean it literally helps me. You know how we how we're going to do this is technology has to meet where we're at today, right? Mm -hmm. And if I if we're we're serious, and there was a lot there was a time that Dale had to make the decision before they did Liberty, right? Mm -hmm. We're at that same decision. Look, if we're serious about changing healthcare and making a dent in healthcare, then we have to take uh, we have to take we have to minimize our costs. We have to we have to provide, go to market at something that is uh, setting the market where uh, everybody out there that's looking at this. Like, we need to make everybody look at what we're doing and they need to come down a little bit, you know, and sacrifice, you know, short term gains for long term possibilities. Yeah. And the long term possibilities as we grow this company out um, seem pretty amazing right now. And Absolutely. I'm not getting any negative feedback in terms of what we're doing. Everybody seems to have one like in the good experiences and we're just getting started as a force of good out there in this, in this, in, in this landscape that uh, I don't know how many companies uh, value an individual more than our company does an in, in, individual in your life. So if I was looking for somebody in a care, I would, I, I, and somebody was seeing this, I would gravitate towards that and say, you know what, what can I learn from this company or what's available out there? And what did I didn't know? And a lot of people out there are going to be reactive. That's mm -hmm. okay. But our goal is to change that and make you so you're proactive. So when you become proactive with your health, you can help us avoid those catastrophic and, you know, uh, things. And really that's the, that's the key to helping a lot of people out with healthcare is avoiding those catastrophic events at all costs, because that's where the mainstream costs are coming from. That's where the huge bills are coming from, where we, we're getting inflated and we're writing that check because when people get sick, we're, we're in fight or flight mode. We want to save the life. We don't care what oh, it costs. Yeah. Oh yeah. And when you are sick and somebody says you might have this, you go there. And so oh, yeah. if we are pro proactive and we stay healthy, I mean, when I was having that flash in my eyes or that flash that I've, if I'd looked over to one section, um, I would say, oh my, you know, somebody, somebody said to you, could you possibly be having a stroke? If I wasn't in charge of my health and know that everything that comes into my, I know everything that goes into my mouth as opposed to just eating mindful, mindlessly, um, you know, and it could, I mean, I'm, I'm not immune to things that could happen to me, but what I'm saying is that at that moment, I could have rushed to the emergency room because someone planted in my head, I could be having a stroke or I could listen to a doctor that said to me, you know what, that sounds like you have a detached retina, you know, or a, a torn retina and it happens all the time. And so, you know, I, I, it kept me from going to the emergency room. It kept me from you know going to my my doctor and it kept me from you know overreacting and making a choice for me and it worked out really well because I waited till Monday I made an appointment with the ophthalmologist and they were able to confirm that I did and you know and it, and, and I when I asked you know how do, how do you get this and said bump, a bumpy ride well I went on some bumpy rides and and I paid for it. And so, um, you know, it's, it's just one of those things that if you have been given the power of information, you can make good choices. But if you are fearful, then nothing good comes from fear. And I love what you are doing, what Liberty HealthShare is doing in making this um, a, a tool that we could use to heal our body. Is there anything else that you want to add about the uniqueness of IQU and um, First Alternative Care and MD Live as you come together as a marriage? Yeah, I mean, again, what we're trying to be is, is just a one-stop platform for, you know, as, you, as we were talking, I was going through different things. You know, we talk about your foods, you know, as we're building this out, we're going to have it where we integrate our gut check test. And then you can find out exactly what foods are giving you information, your diet, but then you can actually pick your meal plans out, you know, and send that right to there. So this is going to be a powerful tool. Oh, this is you, the big part. This is the big yeah, part. 
Yeah, where you can take your ingredients. That's what we're building out. So it's not just I, look. We we talk about look, we're branding certain things, right? We see this as just your. We see this as your dashboard, and as as the dashboard grows out, we're going to be able to build this in so many wonderful directions that are everything that's geared towards, hey, how can we fix this problem? Or how can we fix this problem? And that's how companies right now, I wish, were taking it. Uh, you know, we're, we're a relatively small company compared to where we started from, but we're getting larger every day. And that's a really cool feeling. And as we mm -hmm. become, as we become larger and larger, you want a company like us setting the trend for your health or trying to figure out what's, you know, right now, what, how we can make it better. And we're not trying to make it better by in charging you more. We're trying to make it better within the budget we're setting ourselves, which would be 40% of where the market is right now of where the healthcare cost is. You yeah. know, we're, we're citing this an example where look in your, look in your, go, go into a major city. Where do those buildings come from? Who's paying the rent and all those people in those buildings, you know, like somebody is. And, and, and when you look at where that money is going to, is that money really coming back to you? And so what we want to design is just something that's streamless and like, you know, the internet's so powerful right now. We have the ability to do all these things, right? Yeah. You know, 10 years ago, you would have said, oh yeah, we're going to be doing Teladoc and we're going to put a doctor in your pocket and people would say, well, the technology on your phone doesn't exist. And so like, oh, now we have, as we adapt to more, using more technology, that's how we have to do this. And we just want to be the ones that are going to be offering more. So our competitors out there are going to have to adjust. That's the main thing. So I have a question because eating uh, clean eating asparagus cheddar om omelet sounds delicious for most people, but I'm allergic to dairy. So can I change in my lifestyle? Can I choose uh, a whole food plant-based lifestyle and will it adapt to my nutrition? There you go. So, so you can whole... click on which one you want. Okay. So, so you're, yeah, you're vegan. We can just you put vegan, right? Yeah, put vegan. Now, then, that... then you would just click on different uh things that you want as well like if you want uh, dinner whatever whatever very good very good oh wait i think that's my recipe <laughs> so um so one one of the things one of the things uh, michael that uh you know joining forces where you know, people can have the food delivered to them. I mean, this is just the beginning, like you said, of your platform. You have much bigger dreams. Like when somebody said, have a dream, Michael, Michael said, no, I'm not okay with just a dream. I want a bigger dream. And so this is what you're building. And I'm just so freaking proud of you um, for someone who's known you since you were about this big. Yeah. <laughs> No, you know, when you, when, when you think about um, setting those goals, right. And then it just looks like you get to that top of the mountain. You're just like, Oh, there's another mountain to, to climb. I feel like first alternatives entire the last six years has been just one progressing mountain after every time I think where we got to somewhere where I was satisfied for the, the goal just became higher. Big and so, you know, at first we were just a technology company. I love being that, that technology company. I love helping people. I love solving those things for people. And, and it's great. I'm beyond, and we're on the outside of the insurance landscape. You know, we're a cash-based technology company that we don't have the ability uh, to justify to, in, in, or the time to wait on getting paid and mm -hmm. the, the way that they want us to be. But we're certainly helping a lot of people and we take into those effects. I mean, I've self-financed, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people without them having to worry about their credit just personally, self-financing them just so they can get certain things, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, we, as we continue to grow this out, and now when we're on the landscape of actually it's possible of building our own full coverage, I mean that, the entire full cycle of coverage, uh, besides catastrophic, which is where Liberty can for sure fill in if you're looking for a program like that, or, or other share programs or other catastrophic care programs. Mm -hmm. We just want to make this one bottleneck uh, just uh, more affordable than ever, but also something that your family can engage in. I mean, look, the, the, the fact that, you know, it gives you a complete, you know, it gives you a health score to go basis off of, right? But not just that, but every aspect, it tells you the underlying factors of it. And then it gives you the clinical references for that means that you have something that's creditable, but not just that. Look, your family has something to talk about. You know, I, I wish I had this for my father. Um, you know, I, I don't just blame uh, you know, mainstream medical for what happened. I don't, I, I don't think of it that like that. I don't blame anybody for the, what, what, what happened. There's a process that was in place. I don't blame the employees that were at the hospital. Uh, there's a process that wasn't put in place and that's how they have to do things. And we have to have a process or chaos would happen. I understand that. I just think the process needs to be tweaked to be more convenient for 
to be more realistic. And if everybody thought what they would want for themselves, we would get a, a, to a higher place, right? Well, if like everybody that, treated healthcare about like it was their own family, we would be thinking a little differently rather than what, what the parameters were set with right now. Absolutely. And, you know, the modern system is one size fits all. You know, if you have a thyroid condition, everybody takes the same pill. If you have a heart condition, everybody goes through the same process. Here's a, here's a, a pill for this, a pill for that. And it assumes that everybody's going to respond favorably to that pill when in fact, you know, there's nutrition, uh, there's so many different spirit and mind, and there's so many different aspects of who you are. Every thumbprint is different. And that's how they can find who you are. And so, so is your digestive system. So is your personal life story. And so the more you can tailor your health care to what you need, I believe the healthier we will be. Imagine what would happen, you know, if the health system would have healthy people, we're designed for sick people. And so, you know, it, it's, it says it in the Bible, you know, my people perish because of, of lack of knowledge. And so we have got to, you know, we know the statistics for the Super Bowl. We know the statistics for, you know, our soap operas or who's winning for the biggest loser or whatever it is that's out there. We know these things, but do we know our scores? Do we know what best works for our body? And so I want to encourage all of you to go to whenyouneedafriend.com. Check out not only Liberty Health Share, who's a wonderful sponsor on and off the air of the Lillian McDermott radio show, um, and that's libertyhealthshare.org, uh, or you can check out First Alternative Care and see what they're about. You'll be joining them at the beginning of this journey. And well, you guys have been joining people that are already in the journey, but your idea is much bigger. And so well done, Michael. Very proud of you, First Alternative Therapies, which I, full disclosure, I, I said that I bring uh, the technology, the, um, the, um, the therapies, that the frequencies that I've used. Um, I've had four herniated, I was, I was rear-ended the, the, week after, the week I started the show in Jacksonville, rear-ended, and four herniated discs, um, spinal compression, a, a, a torn shoulder, and now having a, a memory issues from this accident, you know, is to, to be able to say, I haven't taken a pain pill or a Tylenol but I've used it with frequency. I've used it with good nutrition. I've used it with now, you know, um, saving my body through learning about my DNA and some of the things that I react to. So I'm just grateful that we do have this technology, but not enough people are out there talking about it. So I'm hoping that today's show has been just a dip of your toe to say, I want to learn more and go to whenyouneedafriend.com, click on to the first alternative care uh, icon and research it and make a choice. Michael Legal, thank you. It was always so wonderful to have you on the show and I look forward to our next conversation. I do too, Lily. And for those of you who are watching today, whether it's on Facebook Live or later on on YouTube, please share this information, like us, forward it to your friends, you know, get be like John the Baptist, shout it from the mountaintop. It's time to take our health back and we can do it. The choice is ours, but we need to have the right information. First Alternative Care has a platform where we can enter not only our blood work, our medical work, our DNA work, our gut work, whatever it is that you want, you can get it all there. Even order your food someday. Uh, if, if I have, if Michael has something to do with this, uh, even order your food from that same portal foods that are not going to respond or react to you. And so if that's something that you're interested in, check it out. Thank you, Michael. And we will, I'm going to stop the, um, let me check and see if we have any questions. Okay. And we will, um, see you pretty soon till our next conversation. I'm going to stop the stream.